easy take profit exit guidelines. The traditional trading approach is that you limit losses and let your profits run. This looks very reasonable on the paper. In reality, a trader faces few challenges when implementing the approach. Let's talk about these challenges. The first problem is that in order to limit your losses, you need to place stop limit orders. That way, your long positions will automatically be closed if the market goes against you to the extent that your limit is reached. Small speculators usually place stop limits close to their entry price as they cannot afford heavy losses. For one reason or the other, your stop limits are mostly hit before the market continues its journey along with the trend that you predicted. Stop losses look good on the paper, but in reality they do not make much sense as they are mostly executed and you are out of the trade. The price eventually hits the target you originally thought it will, but it does not really matter as you are already out. Thanks to the stop loss that was queued before your take profit price was reached. On the flip side, another challenge is faced when the market starts moving in the direction that you predicted. Now you need to exit your position when you think that profits are maximized. There is no way for you to tell if the profits have been maximized or not. You make your judgment based on fundamentals and technical indicators. Technical indicators predict the short-term movements but not the long-term trend. In the fear of losing what you have already earned, you exit your position. Often, you find out later that you could have easily made four times more profit as the market kept on moving forward along with the trend. But it is too late. You are already out with limited profit. In theory, the statement, let your profits run, looks good but in reality it is very difficult to implement it. Option seller does not have to face these two challenges. When the option sellers enter his position, he is already in the profit zone. If the market is trending upwards, the seller will put options with spikes far below the current price of the underlying security. The premium that the option seller receives on selling the option is his profit. You will lose nothing if it remains where it is right now, or if it moves further, or even if it moves slightly downwards. He will need to exit his position if it moves downwards considerably. Similarly, if the market is trending downwards, the option seller will sell options with strikes above the current price of the line security. The premium that the option seller receives on selling the option is his profit. He will lose thing if the market remains where it is right now or if it moves to the zone or even if it moves slightly upwards. He will need to exit his position if the market moves upwards considerably. Although the premiums were pocket immediately when the options were sold, the option seller will need to exit position and take some losses when the market moves against him. You need to wait how much loss you can take before you enter your trade. We recommend that you exit your position when losses are twice what you made in premium. For example, if you made $400 in premium, then you exit position if the same option is not selling for $800. You buy it back and record $400 loss in your books. Yes, losses will occur, but the profits will outweigh the losses as long as limiting your losses by following rule-based approach. Most of the time, the market will reverse and will continue along the original trend after making you exit your position, but you have to draw a line somewhere. We recommend that you exit when your losses are double the premium you have collected. You can also decide to absorb more losses if your account size permits and give the chance to the market to reverse, but you need to decide all that before you enter the trade. Once you are in the trade, stick to the plan. Don't make new plans.